Imagine you're a 16th century sailor, navigating the trackless depths of the Earth's boundless oceans without the aid of modern tools like GPS, radar, or electronic charts. Instead, you rely solely on a compass, its needle constantly aligning with the Earth's magnetic field. Sailors back then wanted to find the fastest way to travel between two places on the ocean. This fastest way is called a Great Circle Route, any circle that centers on the center of the Earth. Yet the compass was an unpredictable guide, its needle constantly shifting and swaying. This instability posed significant challenges in maintaining a steady course, making long-distance travel fraught with uncertainty and danger. Frustrated by the compass's erratic behavior, a sailor named Pedro Nunes discovered a surprising truth. He realized that if a ship maintains a constant compass bearing, it won't travel the shortest route but a path called a rum line or loxodrome. This line coils like a gigantic snake around the earth and spirals around the poles without reaching them. It goes through the north-south meridians of the earth at a constant angle. While this path may be longer, it offers a crucial advantage. The navigator can sail without constantly adjusting course. They simply follow the same compass direction. Inspired by the discovery of Loxodrome, Gerardus Mercator, a Flemish cartographer, found a brilliant way to represent our spherical Earth on a flat map. He devised a special projection, now known as the Mercator map. While other map projections existed, the Mercator stood apart. It has a unique property. Straight lines on this map directly correspond to Loxodrome. The discoveries of Pedro Nunes and Gerardus Mercator revolutionized navigation. They unlocked reliable sea navigation, allowing wealthy merchants to build vast fortunes and thriving trade routes. Maps became status symbols, but their work emerged during a turbulent era. Europe was gripped by the Inquisition, a religious tribunal that persecuted those who didn't adhere to Catholicism. Nunes himself was Jewish, a constant threat hanging over him. They even imprisoned Mercator. Due to his Protestant faith and extensive travel, he narrowly escaped execution. In today's world, loxodromes have less prominent usage than in the era of navigation by compass alone. With technological advancements, great circle routes provide the most efficient navigational paths. It only became practical to follow a great circle course after the invention of GPS.